guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can literally find products in your sleep on autopilot. You can do this while you're at work, once again, while you're asleep. This is a tactic that you must have in your arsenal if you wanna scale as quickly as possible. If you've paid attention to the last four videos I've made, three of them have been around finding products, finding listings that are good to sell on, and finding as many listings as possible. In this video, we are focusing on listings that correlate with our distributor's price list. So we already have a price list. Now we're trying to go through that price list as quickly as possible and find as many products as possible. There are ways to do this that are quick. There are ways to do this that are slow. And we are gonna be focusing on one tactic that makes us a very quick process. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to make sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about here. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the Facebook group in the link below, especially if you're a newer Amazon seller. You're gonna have access to a free course there that gets you up to speed very quickly so that you can go from zero to $100,000 in sales per month on Amazon. That's the goal for everybody that's in that group. And with that said, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, before we jump into my computer so I can show you exactly what we're talking about here, there's a few simple items I wanted to go over real fast. If you haven't noticed already, every single Amazon listing is associated with what's called an ASIN. This stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. You may not have known, but also a lot of listings are associated with what's called a UPC code, which is Universal Product Code. This UPC code is the barcode that you basically see on every product that you buy from every store. Now, when you get a distributor price list, hopefully you'll get one from your distributor, oftentimes they have a list of all the UPCs associated with the products that they offer. What we are doing with this tactic is we are trying to find all the listings on Amazon that also have a UPC code and match them to the UPC codes that are on your distributor's price list. We're gonna be doing this using the tool Tactical Arbitrage. Now, keep in mind that there are a lot of listings that are not associated with a UPC code. So this form of searching for products misses all those listings that don't have a UPC code. So this is just one tactic that you should use. You should also do other ways of searching for products so you can find those gold mine listings that don't have a UPC code. So there we go. Let's jump right in my computer and I will show you how to use tactical arbitrage to find products on autopilot. All right, here we are at the tactical arbitrage dashboard. And the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the left-hand side where it says wholesale search and we are gonna perform a wholesale search. Now, hopefully at this point, your distributor has given you a price list consisting of products and UPC codes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download that price list to your computer in CSV format, and we are gonna upload it right here. So go ahead and select the Upload New File button and choose File. And as you can see, the example that we're doing, my example list, is in CSV format. Now, make sure that you title the columns in row A of your Excel file appropriate titles so that you can identify them uh, here and associate them with the tactical arbitrage fields. The only two that matter are UPC, which my column was named UPC code, and price, and my column was named cost. So we've associated my CSV uh, file with the tactical arbitrage field. So let's go ahead and upload. Now, once it's uploaded, uh, you can go ahead and filter down exactly what you want to be returned. I'm not gonna add any filters for the purpose of this video. We're just gonna go ahead and search through every single product and have every single product returned. So go ahead and hit search. And once again, this process can be done while you are sleeping. As you can see right here, the search has began and now all we have to do is wait. So we'll come back here in about five or 10 minutes and go through the results. All right, now that the search has finished, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the search manager tab, which is right here. So go ahead and click on that. And we are gonna view the results of our search. Now make sure you are in the completed tab here so you can actually see the completed searches and then come down here and click download all. This is gonna download into Excel, and while we're waiting for it, 
Um, I'm just gonna end the screen. Here we are in Microsoft Excel, and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Data tab and create a filter so we can shift things around and make sense of all of this data. The second thing we're gonna do is come over to the Gross Profit column, which is right here, and we are going to get rid of all the items we would lose money on. Now, keep in mind, there are some glitches in this data, which is why you're seeing such crazy losses. Um, but for the most part, this is the actual profit or loss that you would make on each listing. So we're going to filter out all the items that are less than zero. We only want to look at the ones greater than zero. So there we go. You can see all the items here are now positive. The next thing we're going to do is go over to the sales rank column and we are going to sort by ascending. So the smallest sales ranks are first and the largest ones are last. And then after we've done that, we're gonna come over to where it says the buy box and we are going to get rid of where Amazon's winning the buy box and where there is no buy box winner, okay? Now let's go ahead and zero in on uh, some categories that we might be interested in. Let's look at the baby products category. So it looks like right off the bat there is an item here that we can make six dollars and four cents on uh, there's also an item we can make a dollar and 16 cents on let's just look at this item here um, let's go ahead and highlight it so you can see what i'm zeroing in on looks like uh, this item is something we can get from our distributor for 55 cents and let's see what it sells on amazon for there we go. It is um, baby lotion soap, and we get 55 cents. And according to uh, according to Helium 10, we would make about a dollar and ten cents as well. So we verified that what tactical arbitrage is telling us is true. And if we come down here, we can see the sales rank is. Oh, I looked in the wrong one. I looked in baby lotion. So. That's uh, not really the best sales rank, so this isn't one that we would do, but you kind of get the idea of what this wholesale search is doing. Uh, from here, I would go and I would look for more products that are in, uh, let's say, other categories that are bigger. Uh, looks like uh, baby products category is actually somewhat small, so maybe we would choose beauty and personal care and sift through these to find ones where we could make money and where the sales rank is good. So there you have it. This is how we use tactical arbitrage to quickly go through a price list and find products that we can sell profitably. Once we've done that, we're going to simply take the products that we found, put them in a separate uh, sheet, and send those over to our distributor and place an order and start selling. So there you have it. That is how you can use tactical arbitrage to find products while you are at work or while you are literally sleeping. Thanks for watching the video all the way through. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to join the Facebook group in the link below where you'll have access to that free course. Thanks for watching and we will see you again in the next video.